I'm Andrew Frankenfield. I'm at Frankenfield Farm Market in Souderton, uh, PA, Montgomery County. Um, we raise sweet corn, uh, tomatoes, pumpkins, mixed vegetables. Uh, we sell at a roadside farm market. And my father has field crops, corn, soybeans, and hay, and some beef cattle, so we're a diversified operation. In our area, we transitioned. This was a dairy farm. My grandfather had it. My, and he was at home on the farm. My dad had a full-time job and, and had beef cattle and did some crop farming. And I had interest in farming. Started growing vegetables as a kid, uh, as a teenager, it became a little bit more of a, more than a hobby. And as I grew up, it started to become a job. And that market grew and developed into what we have today. So uh, it's vital, you know, without this, my, my wife would have to have another job off the farm. So. That's a way we chose to live, that she can stay home and we can have a farm market and she can raise our three kids here at the farm so they can have an opportunity to farm if they choose because I'm the sixth generation, they're the seventh here on the, on the property. Yeah, I have a full-time job with Penn State Extension, a uh, county edu uh, agronomy educator. Uh, so I'm farming in the morning and nights and weekends and anytime I can. I work with a lot of people that are part-time, uh, either maybe they have a you know, a bus driving job or who knows, you know, so it's pretty typical in this area that people have full-time jobs to carry the benefits and health insurance and that sort of thing. It's a business. We're not doing this just because we love it. Even though we do, it has to, has to support the house and, and pay the taxes. And uh, in this area where we live, we're very developed and our acres are shrinking. So it was a natural process to get into the retail business and, and we can farm on a few acres. Uh, and, and still have a viable operation. Being on a retail farm, I can't near ensure the total value if I were to have a great crop, but my goal is to, to help in those situations where we have a total disaster, and at least I'll be able to get my money back that I invested, plus a little bit additional. Uh, we do have multiple farm numbers, uh, so I can ensure those uh, as individual units rather than one farm, so that helps to spread the risk around too. So when we selected an agent, Who's coming to the meetings that we as extension educators put on? Uh, and there were a couple companies that were there every time as an exhibitor. You know, so to, to me that said, we're, we're passionate about our work. We want your business. We're going to take the time and, and come out to the events where, where the farmers are to get their business. And, and I went with one of those companies and have been very pleased because they're, there's actual individuals dedicated to just crop insurance and they know what they're doing. It costs a lot of money to put these crops in the ground, and if you don't have them protected in any way, that's that would make, I wouldn't be able to sleep too easy at night. Uh, well, I hope I can stay here and continue to raise our family on the farm, and one or more of them would like to, to follow in my steps, but I see my son's involved. He, he likes to uh, tend the market and help in the field, so it's, it's actually nicer when your kids get a little older. They can be helpful, and, and um, so we'll see where it goes, but I think the, the next generation is interested in, in farming. I'm pretty excited about agriculture. I mean, there's a lot of interest in local food for one. So folks in the southeast, more urban areas, there's plenty of opportunity to, to take what they raise to market direct to the consumer, uh, people to know their farmer. Uh, so with that, that's one. Smaller acres with high tunnels and the horticulture production certainly is promising. And even on the, on the animal or grain, uh, you know, traditional crops, uh, we're getting better yields than ever. Uh, we've got great soils here and we're learning how to fine tune our management. Uh, you look around this year, there's some beautiful corn out there that, you know, it's 300 bushels gonna, gonna probably be not common, but certainly attainable in, in some areas. So just to see that is exciting and, and to see farms expanding, uh, you know, picking up acres where they can and, and uh, I'm pretty excited about the future of agriculture.